this is Harish here. <coughs> Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 70. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how to clone or copy a database as soon as possible. This slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to clone or copy a database as fast as possible in the minimum possible time. Okay. Now the traditional process is like we want to take a backup and restore and it is like a two step serial process. So you have to take a backup, you have to wait till the backup gets completed and then you have to start the restore and wait till the restore gets completed. So sometimes what happens is the backup and restore uh, this kind of method, you will be under utilizing the CPU and memory limits of your system. Like if it is like a you know production server or if it is like some QA staging, like it's a, if, if it is an industry grade machine, right? So you, you will have multiple CPUs and you will have like 16 GB, 32 GB RAM like that, right? So the physical capacity of the machine like in terms of raw processing power or the memory uh, will be he will be somewhat good enough okay so it can uh, run both backup and restore simultaneously right uh, so but but then you are limited right because it is a serial process so how to parallelize it so the solution is to use something called as a local uh, named pipe file so this is available only in unix it works only in unix uh, so what you need to do is first restore the database from a local named pipe so create a named pipe first uh, using simple unix command then uh, restore the database from that local named pipe uh, and then second step do the backup of the database to that particular local named pipe so what will happen is when the backup process streams the data to the restore process so these two so in fact when you see list utilities show detail or something like that right uh, you will find both backup and restore are running at the same time right so the backup will be just pushing data to the uh, to the named pipe and the restore will be receiving data at the same time and it will be you know creating that database uh, uh, in the in the target side so it will be like you know uh, taking minimum time see backup plus restore if it takes two hours each then it becomes four hours but now it will be maybe it will be done in two and a half hours like that right so that will be a good good thing it will be fast okay and uh, there is also version here i think it is it is working in 10.5 for sure uh, hopefully 10.1 also should work but i do not think so in 9.7 or if you go to lower than 9.7 it will not be available uh, so the version has to be uh, taken care of okay and also the both the source and the target should be in the same physical machine see the local named pipe so uh, it will not work on remote uh, uh, machines like the the backup is in a remote remote machine and restore is in a remote machine uh, like that it won't work in that scenarios okay so both the source database and the target database should be available in the same physical machine okay uh, that is because the, the the local named pipe that is the concept here so then because the backup also writes to the particular named pipe and restore also will read from the same named pipe only so it should be available so only on uh, same machine you have to work so it will be useful for example when you are doing some fixed pack upgrades like that wherein you set up two instances and there are you know you migrate from one uh, move the database from one uh, instance to other instance like that that will be really useful at that time okay so as usual let's get into some uh, example and i'll show you how how it is done okay so first i need to start the instance okay let me check oh i did not even start the instance actually uh, first let me start the instance okay and there are <coughs> two databases here sales uh, there, there is single database uh, sales database so I'm going to connect to the database I'm going to show you the table spaces and uh, after that I'm going to do connect reset and this is that uh, uh, FIFO file that I'm talking about so uh, the named pipe that I'm talking about. So mkfifo home db2 nst1 sales dot bkp. I'm just creating like that. Okay. So let me just do that quickly, real quick. Okay. So that's it. That so we have set up the named pipes. Okay. So now I'll just connect to the sales database and I'll show you the snapshot and I'll do a connect reset. Okay. So why I'm doing this is I just wanted you want you to see that the sales database will have like the storage parts and it is having a dms table space as well okay so you can see that um, 
okay so it's mdms uh, table space id 3 okay so it's it's like a dms table space with container in home db to ns1 sales underscore data data dot dbf file okay so it's a dms file which i wanted to just show you that okay uh, so let us do the thing so we have created the named pipe so what i'm going to do is first i have to run the restore process so db to restore db sales from that uh, named pipe uh, into sale re uh, sale read database which is like a clone database uh, redirect look at the option even redirected restores are supported so that's what i'm i, I was trying to say here okay so uh, let me just first run the restore process okay in one terminal so enter so it will just now wait okay uh, after that what i need to do is go to the backup process and initiate the backup such that it writes into the the backup thing okay so enter so now the backup process will write into sales.bkp and the restore process will will you know start uh, doing that right see now it is asking do you want to continue yes so i want to continue that okay so immediately it has uh, given me you know for the uh, the redirection right so once i because i'm doing a redirected uh, restore right so let me just set the table space container okay uh, copy that okay enter so uh, so home db to inst1 sale underscore read uh, folder data dot dbf something like that so i have redirected that particular mdms table space and i'm going to say restore db continue okay enter so now it is redefined the containers and the actual restoration is now going to happen so you it will take about four to five minutes uh, like i'm just having a very like a you know small laptop so uh, it's not even having a, it, it's having one gb ram and a dual core processor and i'll show you this one db2 list utilities show detail okay so you can see that both backup and restore both are running see here backup is also running restore is also running correct so this is what i was saying so one process backup is also running it will put it to the uh, named pipe and the restore process is also reading from that and it is creating a new database so the backup database is sales and the restore database you can see that sale read so i'm just creating a copy of that database under the same uh, instance you can even you know do it in a different instance as well but the only thing is um, it has to be in the same local machine right so both the instances should be there available in the local machine so it will be extremely helpful in the scenarios where you do some fixed pack upgrades and and stuff like that so 77 percent is complete uh, so what will happen is we will have the older instance and a new instance so you want to uh, so you can migrate the instance itself directly but after that you lose the ability uh, to once you upgraded the database and also upgraded the catalog tables right uh, then you lose the ability to move back right instance can be moved back but the database cannot be moved back so you'll have to restore from the old database uh, so in that case this this approach will be really helpful and uh, also like you know you want to just create a read only database immediately something like that right so that time also it is really helpful and you will see that see the backup is now completed 100% and the restore is still uh, going on okay it will take some amount of time okay eventually the backup will also get completed actually uh, okay it is taking a bit longer time it is going to take some four or five minutes okay see it's still going on okay okay so it's still running and i'm redirected restore is also supported but i have not checked online backup uh, database and restore hopefully i think they should also get supported but uh, like i'll have to check it okay hmm. i think it's it's just in the last phase it's 9 41 so almost four minutes so my, my laptop is like having 1 gb ram and 
a single dual core processor so if you have multiple cpus and multiple um, like uh, multiple cores on multiple cpus and uh, like a 16 gb ram 32 gb ram machine you should be able to see some decent amount of uh, fastness here okay uh, so 97 percentage of the work is complete it is still going on okay and i don't know that like you know it the, the total work says 115 mb right roughly but you will see here in the restore it is like 150 mb right i think it is because it is sending in all the metadata structure and other things and all also right uh, taking a little bit of time than expected okay. 46 5 minutes okay let's check it here backup is still going on this is still going on okay I'll do it one more time Okay, six minutes. Okay, still going on. Okay, do we see any increase in the this number one six seven, right? Yeah, one five one. Now it becomes one six seven. So it is processing. So yeah, so now you can see only uh restore right there is no backup which means at least that one side of the pipe is now closed it is just finishing up certain things with uh, the restore process okay yeah see done here okay so see the restore is also done so now i can go and connect to sail read database okay and I'll get you the snapshot also here so instead of snapshot I'll just say list db2 list table spaces show detail like that okay so you can see that MDMS has come here right which is a DMS and obviously it will be a redirected one only so let me just show you that as well okay db2 get snapshot for table spaces on sale read okay so you can see that see home db is sale read data dot dbf so this is a redirected dms table space container okay so redirected restore for obviously storage path redirection should also be supported i do not see why it will not support okay so that's it so hope this information was useful to you uh, thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2 leW academy and uh, feel free to reach me at db2 academy at gmail.com uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye